Hello there, Erunar here, and today we will review Elion Imbrasos. Elion Imbrasos is led by Troilos. He is a very offensive hero. He can boost his own attack and damage, or bring down enemy hero or unit down, or even more down. So this is this one also has one of the best weapons which makes him very good in killing enemy heroes. Let's start with infantry roster. As a Trojan faction he got access to Militia, militia Warband which is a more expensive and weaker frontline when compared to different uh, tier 1 frontlines. Instead I highly recommend using Trojan Warriors. They might not be as good as Young Spears but they are the best what you can bring in early game for Trojan factions. Uh, Ilion in Brussels uh, compared to this unit got Flanker or Flank Charger. It's faster unit with weaker stats and weaker weapon, but thanks to flanking attack improved, it will get a lot of more value and it will route enemy units faster. Similarly as Hector, there are swordsmen, quite okay, so okay to solid sword frontline. Alternatively, you can choose the Trojan Coastal Guard, which is slightly worse at the dwelling but it has access to flanking defense improved and charge defense which are nice uh, abilities to compensate. Then in mid game we got shielded spear warriors uh, with their 200 millimode we are recommending to put shield on the back and use missiles while they are doing the frontline job. Or instead you can choose Trojan Marines uh, as frontline or flanker as well. It has decent stats and good weapon. So you can mix this into your frontline battles. And another upgrade of the Coastal Watch is the Trojan City Watch. It's it's maintaining same speed, which is beautiful. It is having much better stats and better weapon. It also has flank attack improved. This is absolutely solid flanker or even a charger unit. Not only in a campaign, but also in multiplayer battles. Then in late game, we got the heavy Trojan Spearman another very common and solid unit of the Trojan factions. Uh, as this is the cheaper version, I recommend using more of these units as well. Or you can go for more elite version with huge defense and co compared to the previous unit it too has uh, flanking defense improved, expert charge defense, so if you like to keep your uh, frontline stationary, this one is very good at it. And the best infantry unit here is typical sword unit, the best weapon, solid stats, flanky attack improved, very heavy, solid armor and shield as well. This, this is also solid frontline unit. Then on the missiles, we are starting with uh, Trojan Colonist, uh, quite good and fast uh, javelin unit. Um, I think we are not we are not having this in early game, but in the mid game. Similarly, in mid game you got archers from the Trojan faction, so these archers are good, or the standard good. Then next we got uh, island skirmisher, Trojan Island Skirmishers with stronger javelins. Uh, I think these ones have 
strong javelins as other late game javelins, but these are cheaper and quite fast as well. With OK shield, so pretty good light javelin unit. Continuing with archer line, and Elion Imbrasos is good with archers. These ones have amazing range, 170 is a uh, solid endgame range for archers. These Apollo initiates uh, might not have good weapon or stats, but they do deal a lot of uh, missile damage, uh, while they are able to deal damage while moving. And the endgame upgrade with amazing 190 range. This is the long range and it deals tons of pierce damage. This is just like Paris. Also long range dealing damage. Very beautiful, very solid and strong. Then in chariots we got access to standard Anatolian chariot, slightly better than Achaean medium uh, chariot and also we got more expensive and stronger noble chariots of Imbrasos. They are stronger than any other standard heavy chariot in the game. So yes, Ilion Imbrasos is having a lot of resources to afford these uh, stronger or better equipped units. Also one unique unique unit is access to the chariots of Apollo. Compared to other missile chariots, this one has a lot of ammunition and it is able to shoot am this ammunition much faster. Uh, compared to almost every missile chariot, this one finally deals some okay damage or good damage and every other missile chariot deals lackluster damage in total. But this one is a solid alternative to bringing uh, infantry missile. Since Alien Imbrasus has balance roster, we can go with frontline with some good flankers. We can go with or without missile support or and bring some solid chariots. This uh, faction is very versatile and you can play it how you like. And I will show you one simple battle to showcase you uh, just a mid-tier composition. Very cheap, affordable army that is uh, able to take mid-tier settlements. So, we are starting with mix of Trojan Marines and Coastal Guard as frontline. Flank defense, flank attack, that's a good mix. Then uh, we have decided to go for cheaper units like Trojan Warriors and their alternative Trojan Coastal Watch. Together they should work well as Trojan Warriors are good at the starting the fight and Coastal Watch should be excellent at flanking and routing. On the other side we are going to do the same, pair of Trojan Warriors and Trojan Coastal Watch and we were able to afford a Javelin units. One Javelin unit, uh, the cheaper one to do some skirmishing in the battle. So, since uh, this, our, our plan will be quite simple, our front line will go here and occupy enemy unit and on the sides we will try to flank them from both sides. Right now enemy has kind of the advantage because of the renounce links, we did not yet brought any um, long range missiles, so we will have to go and rush them and be careful with our shieldless units. So, fast forward, we are 
going to start with the front line. Your hero is under if you have noticed, we have already spent some javelins. Let's slow this down. Which is important to you to do a good frontline battle. I see that his hero and my hero are going to duel. Alright. Let's bring a pair of flankers closer. The other flankers going to the trees to have some protection from missiles. And I see I can go and pin this spearman down. Alright, front line is having a battle and I have to go with both flanks to support my front line. Since uh, Trojan Coastal Watch is having the flank attack, it is better to use them uh, to flank and then I can decide to use Trojan Warriors again missile units. So Trojan Warriors are good one, v one versus one. Similarly here my front line is spinning down another spearman and as you can see I will win this flank as well. Also decided to use flanker for flanking and charger for chasing away the missiles. And I should be able to easily win this battle. So, what else is going on? Then I have to go and focus on enemy hero because he got the strongest unit right here. Armored Spearman, dangerous unit. I will keep the fastest unit to chase routing unit. Uh, Trojan warriors are winning decisively against missiles which is perfect. And that should be it. But my hero is taking a lot of damage, casualties. But everything else is collapsing and we are going to win this battle right now. So again, very versatile roster. It can be played like this, very standard, front line and two flanks. Uh, we did not use missiles in this scenario, it's definitely possible. Our hero uh, hold it well, like other units, javelins paid for themselves and I was thinking that they were not doing a lot of work. Since I brought a lot of cheaper units, like here, I was able to outnumber enemies and I highly recommend also doing this in campaign. This uh, Tro Trojan Coastal Watch is perfect flanker and Trojan Warriors are nice um, fodder to use in battles. So you can play this however you want. That is all. See you later.